Hello and welcome to your seventh expression tutorial. This one's going to be about the actual forcing itself. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have an input or an output that is called the initial position, which is a vector. And we're going to set this when we we're in, once we're inside of first. So we do initial equals entity because we, I mean, I'm going to do entity is welded to, and then position like that. Okay. So. We're also going to have one an output for, um, like, I'm going to call it main. Main is going to be the entity that we're welded to. So, like that. I'm just going to put this book here. And this way, it, we can easily do this. Because I believe it is kind of a slow function to keep calling, um, To keep calling the is bolted to repeatedly again and again and again, so it's going to store it in the main variable and it'll be a little bit faster. So now we have the initial position because we're trying to make it hover, so we need to know where we were so we can go a little bit higher. So now we're going to do if main position and is all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to oh god, I didn't have the input either. Okay, here. Um, Distance. Yeah, I like that. We're going to do if distance is greater th or less than, let's say, let's just let's hover like 250 units in the air. Then this is where the fun part comes in. So we can force it by doing apply force and takes a vector, which essentially it's just, it's, you just need to describe in which direction and how hard. So our force vector, we can actually this we can create this in the. Um, I'm going to do something so it looks a little nicer. You can have multiple lines of outputs, so I'm just going to have these two like this. Um, so what we want, we're going to have, we're just going to create the force vector up here since it's going to be the same every time. Uh, so we do force equals vec, which just creates a new vector. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just, we want to just want to go up, right? So, so we're going to do because we want to go up, we're just going to set the z to something sort of high, I think I think about 100 is probably about fine. And then here you want to do apply force, force. Essentially what this does is it's going to apply this, like essentially it's going to, it's going to try and move this, the object, in this direction at the speed. So we're going to move 0x, 0y, and 100z, and 100 is up. Um, so yeah. Actually, we're not going to use distance like this. I, I don't know why I made that an input. This is supposed to be an output, which is a distance. And the distance we're going to set every time. Distance is going to be um, main uh, z minus um, initial uh, or initial z. I want the absolute value of that. Like that. So now this chip should work. Let's test it. I uh, want the nice things to test it with. So just get one of these plates out. Oh, is it is it not strong enough? Could not be strong enough. Because this is kind of a heavy plate. Yeah, it is forcing it, so. Uh, I'm going to just increase it to like a thousand or something. Maybe we should do force now. I'll, just, I'll just do it like this for now, and then I'll refine it later. 10,000. I'll go flying now. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, see, now it just tries to hover, but it kind of fails because, like, it's just bouncing up and down. But it is kind of hovering. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we wanted to accomplish this time. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.